wasn't a cold I woke up with. More like a tumor or a parasite. Something that had been a part of me for a while. I tried to tell myself that it's nothing, that it's just another bad day. It'll pass. Without even realizing it, I started putting on an act in front of other people. I couldn't let anyone know, after all, nothing's wrong. Practice makes a man perfect. I took this quote to heart and started practicing the whole happy personality of mine with the hope that maybe I could be happy with perfection in all circumstances. Even then, I knew what was happening in the back of my mind, but I ignored it. And I made a lot of mistakes, but that was probably the worst. Some days I was even convinced it had passed. Sometimes it felt normal, but those times start becoming more and more rare, so I kept on pretending. My will and want no longer aligned, almost like I was drowning despite the knowledge that I can swim. I felt lonely all the time, but especially when I was surrounded by people. Things I used to enjoy before seemed unappealing. Most conversations became noises and turned into useless background music. The simplest of tasks seemed like the biggest chores. I tried to keep up with everyone, but I found I no longer cared to anymore. Still, I tried to fake it. If I faked it long enough, it starts feeling real, right? I'd feel like I was in a slump. There were times when I didn't feel anything, every inch of my body went numb. And then there were times when I felt too much, like a balloon filled with all of these emotions all ready to burst. Helpless, useless, inferior, too much. Denial. Denial becomes a constant. The curiosity of my condition had put me in an ocean of misery and left me to drown. After all, my brain was smart enough to figure it out, but not strong enough to accept it. Trying to find an alternate outcome, I hurt myself. I hurt the people around me. I stopped taking care of myself. It felt pointless. It all did. Eventually, it became too much. It was bound to. The mask I wore every day started to suffocate me. Despite what I hoped for, suppressing everything didn't make it magically disappear. It made them fester and grow and eat me up from inside and that day, <laughs> that particular day, I made a decision, a decision to end this misery. I took a step closer to the end. I was shivering. I felt like my soul was being snatched away as I brought the key to end my misery closer to my skin. I felt my heart throb throbbing in such a rhythmic way as if it wanted to say something to me. Maybe it wanted me to end it quickly. The blade was only a blink away when suddenly it was my mother. I quickly hit the blade and wore a smile over my emotionally drained face while she asked me a simple question. A question that magically took away my misery and struck me with a revelation of hope. She said, Son, I have made your favorite dish today. Come, let's have dinner together. That was it. That was all it took. Turns out that while I was convinced that it was time to let go, there was a part of me that wasn't ready, that held on. At that moment, I just wanted the pain to end. Over the past few years, I wondered if I would have done it. 
If she had been just a minute late, would she have heard an answer back? And I've come to the conclusion that no, I wouldn't have. Despite how overwhelming everything felt, that part of me was screaming for an excuse, any excuse. It's been years now. The world hasn't changed. The people haven't changed. It's all the same. The only thing that's different is me. It wasn't an instant switch. It took a lot of effort. And the road wasn't exactly easy. I still had bad days. Horrible days. I still do. But I also had days that were gratifying days that were humbling once you accept it as a part of yourself once you stop looking down on yourself it becomes easier the mask was the most dangerous thing of all the facade that i was fine i was pretending i was fine and then i felt sad when that pretense worked i thought people didn't care they did i just didn't let them. I started treating it like an injury, not a disease. Like it was a broken limb. When you break a leg or an arm, you're gentle with it. You don't put unnecessary strain on it. I allowed it to heal. I started thinking of my depression like an injury, something to be handled with care, not something to be ashamed of or ignored. And so, my dear darling past self, I write this today to say all the things I wish someone had said to me back then. I'm writing to let you know that it is all right to take help. It's a tough road but the result is worth it. I'm writing in the hope that you understand that it will be fine. You will be fine.